we are Steve and Jill. Together, we've been buying and reselling land since the 90s. Our data-centric approach leaves our buyers asking, how can you sell it so cheap? Here on the Land Academy Show, we answer that and more. Jack and Jill here. Hello. Welcome to the Land Academy Show, entertaining land investment talk. I'm Stephen Jack Pitella. And I'm Jill DeWitt, broadcasting from the Valley of the Sun on this Friday, on the 23rd of December, almost Christmas. Sorry, I decided to get that in there. <laughs> <laughs> Today's Jill Friday, as you can tell. She's going to talk about the quote we received from uh, Career Path 5, screw it and do it. Before we get into it, let's take a question <laughs> posted by one of our members on the landinvestors.com online community. It's free. Script rolling, script rolling, well, I think script we have, rolling, We have three, three days left, including today, to prepay for yes. mailers for next year True. at a pretty deep discount. And offers, concierge. Yeah, and concierge if you want uh, us to do your mailers for you. Yeah. So check it out at offers the number two owners.com and call those guys and they'll explain it to you. Yep. Fr- Patsy wrote from Would You Do This Deal section of Discord. Florida, 20 acres, hunting track. Diverse property offering future home site and recreational use. Neighboring large wooded tracks create privacy and provide ideal wildlife habitat and great hunting. To the north and the east, there's a 55 acre property owned by Walton County. And to the west is a privately owned 118 acre property with a creek running through it. With a small church cemetery to the southwest providing quiet neighbors, the cemetery usually does have quiet neighbors. Um, all, uh, all around quiet and privacy is assured. This property is within 12 miles of shopping, including Walmart, restaurants, and medical facilities in downtown um, blank, blank City, and just about an hour away from the beaches. Uh, mailer offer price was $88,168.65. Accepted offer price, is, is this Patty or Patsy? Patsy, Patsy. She, she got him down to 40K. Okay. Yeah, accepted offers $40,000. He wants to close before the end of 2022. I think I can sell it for 110. That's awesome. This is a would you brag about this deal? So this is in the would you do this deal section of Discord. And it. as you can imagine, there are about eight people that said, PM me, <clears throat> let's get this thing done. They said, heck yes. So what I was saying earlier this week is, you know, she's new. Yeah. And she went out and did exactly what she was supposed to do. Got an amazing uh, price for a piece of dirt and without having the money to do it. She didn't care and she shouldn't care. No. It's kind of what Jill's topic is about today. She just did it. She just mm-hmm. went and did it. And then after that, seeked uh, money. Mm-hmm. And she found it. This is Patsy with the hyphenated last name. Is it? I don't know. I think so. I'm a guess that it is. So I'll go look later and confirm that. <laughs> cool. Good question and congrats. Today's Jill Friday. She's going to talk about screw it and do it. It's a quote from uh, Career Path 5. Yep. This is the meat of the show. So this was on week 10 of 10 in Career Path. Uh, I think it was office hour. I'm sure it was office hours because how how career path works is we have guided module every week where we have a set curriculum, what we're talking about and, you know, taking you from wherever you are to wherever you want to be kind of thing. But outside of that, we have a session called office hours where you can, you know, just kind of show up and gab with us and ask about the week before things that are on your mind, just any, anything that comes up and then, and it often the topic just, just goes in whatever direction um and this particular uh week you know we were wrapping up stuff it's the end of the year and and just talking about you know the end of career path it's this is actually it was really kind of cool the way it worked out because it's end of the year and the end of the end of career path for this group and um and Ed lovingly said, screw it and do it. And I'm like, oh, we all love that. And I'm like, Ed, I'm writing that down. You know, it, it ties into so much of, of, you know, who we are and how you have to have that mentality or you're not gonna get anywhere. You can't overthink stuff. You can't let money get in your way. You can't let fill in the blank stop you. You you can't not send mail out. There's so I have so many examples. You have to keep pushing forward. What do you want to add? I, I think, you know, this is a whole Nike just do it. 
I, yeah. I think there's, we all get at the beginning of trying something new. Yeah. We all wonder, am I going to be any good at this at all? You know, is this within True. my skill set? And, and the truth is, I don't believe that we're born with these skills. I think that we uh, hone that, hone in on them and, and improve ourselves, you know, throughout most of our lives, hopefully. And so I think that you might be great at math. Or, you know, I ha- actually happen to be very good at math because I like it and I practice it. And that's what I'm good at. I'm not as even close. I don't even rank in the same area of sales, of sales ability as Jill does. And, and so whatever it takes, you just got to go do it. Mm-hmm. Whatever it takes, go do it and shoot as high as you can from a, yeah. uh, you know, from what you expect out of yourself and fr- financially. Uh huh. And so, and you know what? You're going to make a bunch of mistakes. I talked about this in Career Path last week. It doesn't mean you're stupid. It just means you made a mistake. That's mm-hmm. it. You know, that's a good point because this is the last show for this year yeah. that we're doing. Yeah, exactly. So. I want you to go into next year. You just said something really good and you're right. Like shoot high, man. Here's, here's how I look at things. Go for a crazy number. And if you're halfway there, you kill, you know what I mean? You probably still killed it. If that makes sense. Um, nothing's, nothing's nuts. And you have to get out of your own head sometimes Yes. because if you listen to your head, you'll, you'll put on the brakes. 25 different times yeah. and talk yourself out of stuff and you totally. can't do that you have to trust and and just go you know screw it and do it i can't tell you how many times that i'm like i'm not sure how this is going to go but i'm just going to try for it and then oh my gosh it just worked now i'm going to do it again so once you get going and you're like well that worked maybe this will work well shoot now that worked now i'm going to try this you know whether it's you know, what you're buying, what you're selling, how you're running your business, your life, money. It, it, it's all the same. I have a mild form of dyslexia and I was very lucky to have a high school teacher where I, and I, I didn't know, that, we didn't know what dyslexia, dyslexia was at the time, but, but I, my reading retention was to this day is in certain formats is really bad. I read something and then I just, I can't remember what I read, you know, in certain formats. It's usually for whatever reason, it's in a book or on, on hard copy on the internet i don't have a problem with it it doesn't matter but no wow so i it's interesting i uh i said this to my seat chair I, I said you know he's the nicest guy in the world he said look i have some version of whatever you're talking about too this is my teacher saying this getting right down and meeting me from where i'm coming and says there are some people who can read some read something and learn it and it is retained they have photographic memory i grew up with people like this and that's it. So they don't have to study. They look at stuff and they just absorb it and, and they get an eye on everything. There are some people that have to read it twice and there are some people that have to read it until they understand it. And that's me. And so I consequently had to work. This, I, for whatever I lost in reading comprehension, I gained with math. So I was you know, very fortunate in that area. But it, you just have to work harder. Screw it and do it. That's it. So whatever gets, you know, whatever gets dumped on your head while you're traveling toward this financial goal that you have, mm-hmm. so be it. Shake yourself off and keep moving forward. That's the best. That's it. That's it. You've got to pick yourself up. Every every we talked about this too. Every every failure is not a failure. It's it's uh, that's how you learn. You're not going to do that again. It's one one step closer to success. Fail. It's just a just a learning. That yeah, was a learning exercise. I won't do that again. You know what? Really, <laughs> and we all have like trigger points and aha moments and you know stuff. Light bulbs go off of our head. For me professionally, it was joining forces with Jill. That I was very very successful on my own right. Um, before I met her. But what she brought to this was a new, fresh attitude. She didn't bring any technical, like, hey, I think you might be doing this wrong. We should go over here and do it this way. She never did any of that. What she did was she took, like, all this this uh, money that we were leaving on the table and waste and just got on the phone, you know, bootstraps, got on her phone and just started selling stuff. I, I remember it like, the, like it was yesterday that really, really, really took what I was doing. I thought was pretty good for what we were pretty doing great. pretty well and took it to a, you know, now the sky's the limit because, and so maybe that's your trigger point. Everybody's got one of these, one or two or three of these break points where it's like, wow. So having a partner, and I've had business partners in my entire life, mm-hmm. none, none like Jill. So uh, 
you know, maybe to get you to that next level, you need, <clears throat> maybe you need instructors like us. Maybe you need, need a Atlanta Academy. You know, maybe that, that's the I aha did. moment. So I needed I that vehicle. I know so thank you. And I really appreciate your compliment. And I can say the same about you. I didn't have a vehicle to get me there. I knew I had the, I knew I had the um, drive and the motivation and, and I knew I could, you know, get stuff done and I could work with people and I could get people on my team to want to get there with me. But I didn't have that vehicle that would, would, you know, a would pay for this kind of thing. What I was doing was just chipping away at it. I'm like, I need a hockey stick this. <laughs> That's where you came in. So you provided the vehicle with a business model yeah. that I could join in and go, oh, I can make this great now. Thank you. I need something where I know I'm gonna make $50,000 a deal, not you know whatever my little bonus was kind of thing. Here's what you don't need. Mm -hmm. You don't need more education because it's all here. You don't need a, a bigger or better or a more um, enthusiastic community. That's all here. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of things. You don't need any money. True. That's all here. That's all here. You just need to get a mailing schedule. Uh, you're, you're, you need to get the mail out in a mailing schedule where it's rationally priced. And if you're and if you're insecure or not confident about how you're pricing your mailers, find somebody who is. I have like. 98% confidence in my mailing price, price mailers. And so there's a lot of people in our group that were very successful. Mm -hmm. Seek them out. Maybe mm -hmm. that's the partner that you need. You know, I, there's all kinds of offshoot groups. This last career path group has a, there, I saw them organizing it in Discord uh, today. Uh, uh, you know, their own little mastermind yeah. continuing education. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. We, we had a huge amount of compliments in, in the Discord. Uh, for career path? For their la this Aww. last career path. Like like really heartfelt Aww. compliments. You should go I'm check gonna go, I'm going to go read that from our career path five group. That's so sweet. All right. I'm going to just end on this for me. You're listening for a reason. And if you want to say screw it and do it and make some changes, come <laughs> join <laughs> Land Academy. Do <laughs> you think I'm kidding? I'm not kidding. Maybe that's maybe that's it for you. It was for me. You got to, you know, really, you got to make a commitment before you do that. Well, yeah. Well, that's screw it and do it. A time commitment. Well, that's it. Like, I'm going to do this. Yeah. I'm going to do it. And I'm not going to fail. That's part of it. Part of your commitment is screw and do it. I'm going to do this. I'm not going to stop. I will get mm -hmm. myself up and keep on going. Answering that first phone call, you're like, this guy might not be happy with me. So what? Answer the phone. You're going to figure it out. It's all good. Exactly. Happy you could join us today, five days a week. You can find us here on the Land Academy Show. Join us next week for another interesting episode. You are not alone in your real estate ambition. We could say join us next year. Join us next year. Ah. So we, we will have shows running next week. Don't worry. We were picking out some of our favorite highlights. So you do want to listen next week. Have There's a great holiday and, and uh, Yay. don't drive anywhere. <laughs> Why? <laughs> just because it's weather. Like drunk. No, it's just oh. there's novice drunk people this that week, that last week of the year. I got to tell you, there's a lot of weather coming up too. Where we're going <laughs> is like oh, a serious snow. We're going coming. to the mountains in Colorado, and Jill's. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how Southern California Jill deals with negative four. Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to, no, whatever it is, I'm going to look the part and that's going to be awesome. <laughs> Yay. We, we are, are Jack, Jack and Jill. Jill. Information and inspiration to buy undervalued property. Merry Christmas. We hope you find our content valuable and we appreciate your support. If you have not already, please check out our channel and hit the subscribe button. And your comments and suggestions help us uh, to create the content you're here for. Hitting the like button helps to support our channel's algorithm and gauge your interest for future shows. 